of Lake Kansan, General and President Dwight D. Eisenhower said that leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want done because they want to do it. At the Kansas Healthcare Collaborative, we realize the truth in those words. Successful quality and patient safety programs are those where physician and hospital leaders establish quality and safety among their chief priorities. Dr. Jennifer Kuntz and her colleagues at the Newton Medical Center are focused on quality care and recognize the importance of communication to drive excellence in the hospital setting. In order to ensure patient safety in a hospital or a clinic setting, leadership is very critical. As a physician, I am a leader in the delivery of health care, and so I try to set an example of that every day. Patient safety and quality care is not something that just happens, especially in today's fast-paced, ever-changing world. Leaders effectively communicate priorities in such a way that every person within an organization is empowered to take personal ownership and responsibility for quality and safety. There are also so many other people that are important in the delivery of healthcare, including administration, nursing, food service, IT, housekeeping. All of those roles play an equally important uh, role in patient safety and quality. We strive to achieve those goals every day, and when we work together as a team, patient care is always improved. During this time of exciting transformation in healthcare, the opportunities for collaboration are abundant. One way Newton Medical Center is doing this is by holding a quality team meeting where each department can bring their suggestions and concerns to help solve problems and improve patient care. The quality team meetings are not just for staff. We are planning on using former patients and family members to uh, advise our team and be a part of the implementation and development of those plans. With the bar set high for every facility in every corner of the state, the Kansas Healthcare Collaborative believes delivering quality healthcare produces exemplary patient outcomes leading to more satisfied patients, improved health, and more affordable costs. The Sabetha Community Hospital is a small rural hospital of 25 beds, but when it comes to achieving excellence in patient safety and quality care, CEO Laura Key believes her facility ranks highly. We're still walking that walk and we're still doing that journey and uh, I, you know, I don't think that in healthcare you will ever achieve um, totally, you know, complete patient safety or complete quality because um, things change so quickly, so fast and it, it's just important to stay on top of all of that. Quality and patient safety, I think, every day needs to be at the forefront um, th that's the bar. As a leader here, I believe that everything that I do every day impacts that. I believe that I'm the one that has to set the standard for patient safety. I believe that it comes, you know, it rolls down from the top. Small rural hospitals are not the only facilities applying this. Dr. Wu at Stormontville Healthcare in Topeka has seen his urban institution's team approach produce a 30% cut in the time it takes an emergency heart attack patient to start receiving a life-saving angioplasty procedure. We're really implementing lean process methodology within our organization. And uh, the exciting thing about that is not only do you start to see where waste can be eliminated and value created, but again, I think you start to see individuals, particularly just frontline individuals, really start to think about what they're doing on a daily basis in terms of how can I do it better. At the Kansas Healthcare Collaborative, our approach is straightforward. KHC actively encourages the sharing of the latest evidence-based practices and standards. Great organizations are learning organizations and they don't presume, they're not presumptuous in thinking we just know everything, we are the best and nobody has anything else to teach us. I think high-performing, high-quality institutions are always looking to better themselves and they know that they've never reached perfection. Because we're all in this to do one thing, and that is to improve patient care. And if the hospital, the system, the clinic down the street does it better, why shouldn't we, if we're in the healthcare professions where we want the patients to get the best care, why wouldn't we want to learn from that? To a culture where we're all in this together and that it's important for us to work together and um, how can, we, how can we problem solve together? 
so to make it better for the patient and better for the interaction between the departments. The Kansas Healthcare Collaborative also realizes the importance of a framework to communicate healthcare priorities and has embraced the Institute for Healthcare Improvement's triple aim. The Institute of Medicine stated the error is human. There's, there are going to be mistakes made, but the real key is what do we learn from those mistakes and how do we, again, proactively find ways where we can prevent that from happening and really hardwire these learnings into our organization. Every day, physicians and hospital leaders in Kansas take bold action to achieve the best possible outcomes for the people they serve. They thrive in a culture of safety. Successful organizations recognize the contributions of all members of the healthcare team to reliably and routinely deliver quality outcomes. Most importantly, they recognize the individuals at the heart of their team, their patients. The common theme is, is that it's a team effort. You know, quality and patient safety is a team sport. It is a culture we strive for every day, and when patient-centered healthcare is the goal, patient healthcare is always improved.